horror fans, my name is Scara Damsel of the Doomed. We're out here at the gas station in Bastrop, Texas for the home of Horror Show. And we have a very special guest today. He's a native Texan. He's the star of stage and screen. He's been in numerous film and TV roles, but you might know him best as the Creeper from Jeepers Creepers. Welcome, Jonathan Breck. Thank you. We're just going to clap like there's an audience. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. The Very kind of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> is this your first time at the gas station? Yes, it's my first time. I've been wanting to come. It's for pretty a while. Impressive. I've heard about it and I've yeah. wanted to come. So you were at the cult classic convention though this past I year. I was. Yeah. Did you have the barbecue or are you? I did. I had yeah. the barbecue and um, they made a lot of the stuff, a lot of the catering. So yeah. not just the barbecue, but everything they made, they made was awesome. It's so. uh, delicious, yeah. Lisa. I think does does lisa still do the food yeah lisa yeah, with the barbecue it was awesome. man. Yeah. it's glorious as a matter of fact i screwed up on my way into town you know i was like i'm in bastard i gotta get some barbecue so before i came to the convention i stopped at one of these places and got barbecue and i rolled in town and Roy was like hey man i've got some barbecue in the back and i was like no i already got some he's like no oh, no and he fell to his knees and so I, I promised to never do that shit again yeah, so if i come to bastard i'm, I'm you coming know here better. for barbecue you know you're on an empty stomach yeah. right now he's gonna eat that brisket yeah. uh was it your first time for a cult classic this year it was and it was a really nice show it's a great you know, show it was a small but uh but nice steady you know good crowd the kind of show that we, we really like to, to go to because it wasn't so crowded that, you know, fans can't spend time with you and you get to talk to fans. That's right. Great, but it wasn't like we're all sitting around looking at each other with nothing to do either. It was a it's nice kind of the group, perfect, so, yeah. perfect Good, blend. Yeah. I think so, too. And you've already got a line waiting for you. I don't know if you've seen it. Yeah, I can't believe that. It's not, yeah, it's they're not out there in the hot sun. I feel kind of bad. Don't feel bad. So, <laughs> she's excited. like, no, nah, don't worry about it. They're fine out there. <laughs> they're so, fine. They yeah. might be heat strokes might have to run them a little bit of barbecue out there <laughs> yeah. to keep them going. you got a so. water bottle. Yeah. You're going to squirt <laughs> them on the way listen out. listen to you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Just get a hose out there and, okay. and spray them down. They'll be fine. They have Okay, so i got I got to ask you some questions about Jeepers Creepers now. Yes, yes. The first one is over 20 years ago. And it was a small budget relative to Hollywood standards. Yeah. Um, but it really knocked it out of the park. I think yeah. you guys probably made your money back opening weekend. More than that. More. We were the number one movie in America that weekend. And as a matter of fact, we set a record, box office record, for that particular weekend. Wow. So for a little horror film, that was like, we were like, what's happening? You know, we're not, we were, a bunch of us, had, it was our first big movie, so... When that went down, we were all kind of like deer in the headlights kind of thing. And then, um, and then of course, excited and then kind of preparing ourselves for what we would ho hope would be a great ride. But then I don't know if you remember, 9-11 happened like next week. No, I don't. Oh, wow. So that totally, we went from setting a box office record that weekend to nobody going to the movies because everybody was home, obviously watching the horror show right, on TV. Right, right. So it was a weird time. Did it pick you know? back up? Uh, it picked back up. I think we did like forty-eight or fifty million, which you know is in the good in the theaters. Movie. In the theaters. And then yeah. it was on cable forever. And then it is still going. I mean, still, still going. Still, yeah, those nice checks still keep coming. So, yeah, that's so, good. Yeah. Where, where are we going after this? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> barbecue in the back, baby. There's so. lots of things to buy around here. <laughs> See some beer. We got some barbecue in the back for set. So. Um, I saw your casting tape on the internet. Oh, the audition. The audition. Yeah. First of all, you a dang freak. Secondly, <laughs> Thank like, you. did they tell you to shave your head for it? Because that was a choice. That was awesome. No. Um, I, I was just a, you know, blonde headed, long blonde hair kind of surfer dude, uh -huh. you know. Um, and that audition came through and I had like a week work on it which is really nice because a lot of times is, is you know uh -huh. I mean, they'll call you and be there tomorrow kind of thing you've yeah. got no time but this I had like a week to work on it and um, it was an interesting role obviously one of the most interesting auditions I've ever done because they sent me the script and I was like usually you know you have lines to audition with and so I was looking through the script going wait a minute <laughs> it's like how am I going to audition for this and I, I called my agent and I was like so what do they expect me to do and they said well they just want you to come in the room as the character. And so I had about, a, as I said, about a week to think about what I wanted to do. So I developed this character over the course of that week. But something, I was, I was almost there, but I wasn't 
all the way there. You know, I, was, I felt like I was 90% there, but it wasn't. Something was bothering me. I was like, I'm not there. I'm not there. I'm not there. And then the night before the audition, literally like two or three o'clock in the morning, I know it was the middle of the night. I woke up and it hit me. I was like, I gotta shave my head for this role. It was that perfect. Was just, uh, it was the right choice because I felt like, well, I felt like as a character too, this character wouldn't want the clean up of hair. I mean, he didn't want to be slick and sleek. I thought it just made sense. And so you know, I woke my roommate up in the middle of the night, Doug, you gotta <laughs> shave my head. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like, Shave, and, and then he, he, you know, we were in there the shaving stuff. my head. And uh, <laughs> and if you ever, uh, I don't know if you guys ever out there in, 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 in audio land hearing this, video land hearing this, if you ever have been bald or shaved your head, you understand, you know, the layers just kind of drop away. Oh, You weird. know, and so by the time you look at yourself in the mirror, you're just like, so I stood up and I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, it's this on. Is, this is it. It's on, you know. What so it was did... that last thing I needed to kind of get you there. So, so you had a week yeah. to kind of prepare for that audition. What did you do during that week? Uh, what was the character description even? Because um, it's kind of a guarded character, you know. Well, I asked him that, and they gave me like two lines. And he said, we know he's probably several thousand years old, and we know he eats people. <laughs> oh, wow. So that's what you that's have. That's what you had to work to with. To go on. And I knew I didn't talk, uh -huh. right? Um, so it was all about behavior. Yeah. Um, and so I had a lot of fun. I kind of went into the animal kingdom and started thinking about him as a predator, uh, super predator. Um, and over the years, over thousands of years, being a great observer of the great hunters. Ooh. And so I kind of blended a lot of different character traits together. And, um, and then I thought a lot about, you know, who he was, you know, being, uh, underground, so to speak, mm -hmm. with his family uh -huh. on the walls uh -huh. for 23 years. Um, and so I started to think about him in terms of, of a craftsman and what, what he was passionate about and what he loved. And just, you know, I really approached it truthfully like any other acting role, which right. comes from within. It's like, who, what's he all about? Right. You know, what gets him off? Boy, you, you nailed know, it. So, and it just, thank you. Yeah. It just, um, it just started to make sense, you know, so. Did you look at any other movie monsters for inspiration, or did you just completely like? Interestingly enough, no. Mm -hmm. um, I I wasn't, you know, I, <laughs> sounds crazy, but I wasn't the biggest horror fan before no, I did the I, show. Th I hear that a lot, actually. Okay, I was just a, just an actor, movies. you know. I was yeah. Just um, and uh, you know, people when I first did did interviews for after Jeepers Creepers became so popular. I was a little self-conscious because journalists would ask me, they go, you know, what, what are your inspirations? Right. You, your favorite What's your favorite actors? horror, and I was like, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, I don't have much, right. you know? And, um, and then I realized that it, it probably served me uh -huh. to not have any predisposed, you know, performance in my mind about what somebody did. And I mean, now I'm a huge fan, right? Because yeah. I understand how much work goes into right. a good horror film. And I, I'm a fan. I appreciate what they do. And, so now I've gone back and watched all the classics and become fans of this movie. Yeah. Um, but back then when I did the audition, when I did the role, I really didn't have much frame of reference. So I, I just think you're it. right. It did serve you because that the creeper was definitely a unique monster yeah. and a unique antagonist. Um, it was well written, but you, uh, it's always it's a special place in my heart when an actor can portray a villain without a word. You did such a great job, but you guys have to watch. If you're fans of the movie, you have to watch that casting, that audition. It's very short. Yeah. But I mean, did they <laughs> did they tell you to to sniff to do a little before smell? I came in the room? Yeah. Or did no. you? That no. Was, dude, no. 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 I. It's kind of listen, Jonathan. <laughs> it's kind of hot, and that's disturbing. But I say, I mean, it's a little hot. But it's also really scary. I'm just going to leave that there for you. Well, I mean, think about think about the creeper, man. I mean, he's alone, right? Yeah. What gets him off? Sniffing? You know, that's, I mean, everybody's <laughs> got that natural urge, right? <laughs> yeah. So it's like, but it was funny because, you know, they tell you, you know, as a young actor in Hollywood, they, you know, they have the, the, the written, the unwritten written rule book, right, about what you do and don't do in auditions. And you never can, you know threaten the casting director, make them feel uncomfortable, or come across the table, or, you know, there's this unwritten rule book about what you're supposed to do and not supposed to do. I was like, 
And I came in the room, and as you see, I saw you watched the, you, you know, went I was right like, up I'm to going, that guy. I'm going, I'm going after him. Right. So I went after him. It was scary. Um, and interestingly enough, one of my good friends who I've learned through this whole process is Courtney Gaines from Children of the Corn. Uh, he brought a real knife into his audition. Holy crap. I mean, he scared the shit out of him. So we <laughs> laugh about that a lot because, you know, we did everything they tell you that you shouldn't do. And then you got not cast. That I'm, uh, not that I'm yeah. supporting that, right? Young gonna... actors out there, don't, don't, go, don't go chasing casting directors around. But, but I think it just kind of speaks to the fact that you got to follow your instincts and, you know, do what, trust your instincts. It was you know? amazing. So. Not better than the movie, but it was great. Thank With you. the movie... I know you get asked this a lot, which is why I'm asking you again, because obviously people want to know. So I read that your makeup process was anywhere from five to seven hours. Mm -hmm. How long then did that make a typical shooting day for you? Well, it's it's five to seven hours, and it took a lot of people because they did the makeup in you know, the old-fashioned way, mm -hmm. you know, which is why I love it so much. It was a, started out with a team of sculptors. Um, I wish I could remember all their names because they're all amazing artists. And then, you know, they, they do the latex. And then and then the application team is five guys, you know, that were putting it on me you every day. You have five and, people? Yeah. Wow. Working on you. And then it's five to seven hours. So you can imagine the money and the effort to get you into all that. Mm -hmm. And so then when they get you into all that, they're like, you're in. We're going to use you, man. Yeah. We're, we're where you all out. Day. You know, so it's 12 hours usually. You're working, and you so. filmed in August in Florida and yeah. all that latex. Of course. Of course. Of course. How it much always happens in the lose? hottest month of the year. <laughs> you know, originally we were scheduled to go like in May. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Right? And then, you know, delays, they delays, delays. It, and then the hottest month, you know. How so, do you stay cool? You can't. Or what you know, did they put you in a trailer when, when they could and blast the AC and all yeah, that? Yeah. Yeah, they did. But, um, but still, it's, you know, so you're still hot, you know. And funny story, they didn't, I don't know why, they didn't think about making allowances for me to go to the bathroom once they put me in the suit. What did you do? So it's like, once you're in, you're in. You know, it's like a spaceman or something. Yeah. You're in a space suit, yeah. right? And you're waiting for the blast off, and then 12 hours later it comes. So I was a little like, what am I going to do here? Right. But I never had to go because I sweat You were so dehydrated. Much to the like, yeah. After a while, like later in the day, you could hear me walk. It's like, <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. So much sweat. So. Yeah. That's crazy that they didn't make you a little... Something. Didn't need it. What so, about the second movie? Same story. Well, well, we were inside a lot for the second. We shot yeah. the second movie in um, Southern Cal, believe it or not. Oh. That's shot in L.A. Oh. In LA area. Really? And On the field and all of that? Well, we were up in Tejon Pass, which is about 45 minutes, an hour north of L.A. Uh. There's a mountain range that you go over Tejon Pass over north of L.A. And at night, it's, you know, 50s up there. So everybody's oh, in their coats. Okay. And I'm like, hey, man. Not so um, bad. It's perfect, you not know? Not so, so bad for you yeah, on the We shot there, and then we shot on stage. Believe it or not, we shot a lot of that movie. Interesting story. On a stage, there's a, there's a hangar, airplane hangars, where they built the B-17 bombers back in World War II. And literally, they'd start a bomber on one side of the hangar. This is how big it was. Mm -hmm. And it, when it came out of the other side, it was, a built, it was an assembled B-17. So this thing's massive. And so they rebuilt the road and everything in there. So Whoa. we shot a lot inside. So. That's not bad at all. You did a lot of uh, uh, flying in that Wire movie. Work, did yeah. you get to do oh, the yeah. stunts? Oh, yeah. Really? Well, I mean, the harder ones, no. Uh -huh. Wouldn't want to do those. But, right. But a lot of the flying I got to do, working on the wires and stuff, which was a, That you know, had to be so super fun. fun. Oh, it's just like being a kid again. Now, but between the, the three, is it? do you have... One that you preferred as far as filming goes and one you prefer as far as the story goes? Um, I probably prefer, uh, as far as the filming, I probably prefer the second one because, you know, we had plenty of money for that one. Yeah. And so it was much, it's, we could do everything that we wanted to do yeah. filming-wise. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and you had weapons. Just, and weapons, and I was flying. I mean, <laughs> two is much more the Creepers movie, really, when you think about it. Yeah. Because in the first movie... You know, they really wanted to treat it more like, you know, like the shark and Jaws. Like, hint that the Slow creeper reveal. was there. But, you know, I don't really, you don't really see the creeper until, like, halfway through the first movie. Right. But the second movie, it's like, gloves are off, man. Right. It's like, it's right the away. creeper's movie. Yeah. You know, so I, I probably enjoyed the filming. And I got to terrorize the shit out of all those kids. Yeah. So it was great. Did you, you know, co-mingle with the later. cast at all? In the second movie, I did. Yeah. The first movie, I didn't. Because I thought it would be a better idea if... Uh, Justin and Gina 
didn't know who I was behind the mask, mm -hmm. behind the makeup. I didn't want to know who they were. I didn't want to like them. Yeah. And I didn't want to know who I was. Yeah. And so, and I thought that was a great, I, you know, artistic acting choice. But what I didn't count on is the fact that it meant I'd be for three months alone in oh, Florida. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's like, yeah. you know, because I was not. pretty much secluded from cast and, and crew uh, when I was in Florida shooting the first movie. Um, but it's, as far as, as a movie, I probably appreciate the first one more because yeah. it was, just has that creepy tone. It just kind of settles in on you. And it was the first one, too. So I just, you know, I'm always in love with the first one. So I definitely enjoy um, all of the, the movies in the franchise, but I think the first is my favorite. There you go. Uh, maybe because of Justin's silly little rose tattoo. Anyway, mm. <laughs> it's around his navel. Well, there's something behind that. <laughs> a lot more behind that you could dig into, I'm sure. We're, well, but it's we time won't. to so, go, Jen. Yeah, so. I'm sure. <laughs> now <laughs> we <turn. laughs> so, Now it's getting interesting. So. We appreciate you coming out. Of course, Thank yeah. you so much. Right. We're going to wrap it up because you got a big old line, like I said. Uh, ready I'll turn to the hose you. off out there and get turn, them in, dry them off. Yeah, and dry them off so, before okay. they come in and wipe okay. their feet all right. and all of that. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, on the horror you bet. Show. It was very nice to meet you, dear. Nice to meet All you, right. too. We'll see you next Thank time. You.